Uh, let me just try to make this a little bit uh, even more intuitively obvious. Let's imagine poker hands. They're about 2.5 million poker hands. If you want to get a pair, that's about a million or so. I mean, these are rough numbers. So it's about a single pair would have probability about uh, two fifths. Okay. Uh, if you say pair, okay, that's a short descriptive phrase, but the event to which it answers has high probability. Compare that to Royal Flush. Equally short, much more improbable. Okay, so it's about one in 700,000 probability for a royal flush. If you were confronted with either of those events, which would you think is more likely to be the result of cheating, i.e. design? Well, it's the royal flush. Okay, short description, much smaller probability. Short description, big probability, nothing to explain. So that's, that's how we cash it out mathematically. You know, intuitively, we do this all the time, okay? But, you know, in practice, we don't go through this methodology. What we do is we just have a sense, you know, this is too coincidental. This, this couldn't happen by chance. Uh, we don't even do the calculation. But the reason we have to do this in such detail and with such rigor is because, well, for one thing, if you want a science, you've got to have a method and you know, the, 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 it's got to be a statistical method because, uh, you know, anything, if you allow, if you don't discipline your use of chance, you can explain anything. 